hey guys welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to be doing my nails i've already uh prepped and i haven't primed them but i've already soaked off my previous nails just so this video wouldn't be too long so um yeah if you guys watch the vlogs you know that i am working with my new kiara sky short almond nails and this is how they look they're actually really shorter they're they're much shorter than i thought they would be but we're still going to work with them so let me show you guys the length and how they look hoping you can see that so this is how short they are <laughs> really really short um yeah so i'm still gonna be working with them today and i've already actually taken out some nails you can see over here i did leave to just so i can demonstrate to you guys how i um prep these nails to go onto my natural nails so i'm actually going to go ahead and start that first as i told you guys i've already prep my nails so we can go ahead and start um so we're going to start with this now because uh i left uh the pointer and the thumb so that i can show you guys how i prep these nails to go on my natural nails so that they can adhere correctly so this is how it looks but i'm gonna go ahead and file the side so they lay um really nicely with my cuticle and uh, my side wall so i'm going to show you guys that i'm going to be using my kiara sky 8080 grit um i do have i do have the kiara sky 100 100 so i'm going to go ahead and use the 8080 what i do is i measure just to see if my nails are fitting side wall to side wall first off and if it's not, you can file it down to your natural nail. But I just want to kind of like buff this because this nail actually does fit really good to uh, my side wall. So I don't have to do too much. But I do want to buff it, not buff it, but file it a bit, rough it up a little bit so it lays flat with my cuticle as you can see. If the camera is focusing for me. So yes. Um... Let me go ahead and do the thumb and then I'll show you guys the other technique that I do in order for my builder gel, which I'll show you guys um, to adhere to my nails really nicely. So this is how the nail fits on my thumb. It's really nice, so I don't have to do too much. I'm just gonna buff around, not buff, I keep saying buff. I'm just gonna file around the edges just a little bit. And then we're gonna check it again and that looks really nice so that is that now what i also do is i'll take my my drill right here uh, most of these items are from amazon i will leave the links for you guys in the description box so i'm going to take my drill it's not plugged up so i have to plug it up but what i usually do is i'll take the nail i'll see how far my natural nail goes up the um, Kiara Sky jelly tips. So it reaches to about right here. And I file to right there. What I'll do is take my file and I'll file all of this in this area, which I'll show you guys next. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my drill and I'm gonna take my nail. And like I said, I'm just gonna file in the inside. Now I'm going to check it just to make sure and that's perfect. And then we're going to do the thumb as well. All right, so we got the thumb done. And this is how it looks. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to start uh, putting these nails on my um right hand because this is a struggle hand and i'm gonna come back and show you guys my uh left hand 
All right, guys, so here is one hand done, the struggle hand. Um, so this is how they look after applying them with the builder gel and all of the other steps that I showed you guys. Um, so now I'm gonna start with my left hand, which I can actually show you guys on camera, which won't be a struggle. So I'm gonna start with step one, which is the prep. I love Kiara Sky because they have all of their bottles um, numbered, so you know which step you're on. So um, I do have a few questions that you guys asked me. Um, how much was the Kiara Sky kit? So the kit, when I bought it, which was during the pandemic, it was about, I believe, $99. I just looked on the site previously and um, they are actually on sale for like $87. Hopefully they're on sale still. Um, but yeah, step one, prep, and then we're gonna move on to step two. All right guys, step number two, which is the primer. Here's another question I get is how often I do my nails. So I do my nails every like three weeks, I'd say, which completely beats the every two week visit to the nail salon. And I'll actually show you guys in this video how I get my um, Kiara Sky jelly tips to last up to three weeks. All right guys, step number three, which is the builder gel. We're gonna apply a thin layer of these to our nails. We're gonna let them cure for 60 seconds and the big UV lamp. So another question is my overall thoughts about Kiara Sky Jelly Tips. So I absolutely love them. You guys know I am now a loyal customer of Kiara Sky Jelly Tips. They're very convenient. At first they may not be easy, but like anything else, when you continue doing it and practicing, you'll get better and better. And of course, every time I sit down, I'm saving 50 plus dollars. All right, guys, so I have all of my Builder Gel on my nails. Now we are going to apply nails. Now I did lose some footage for some reason. So I only have footage for me applying one nail. So we're gonna work with this. So this is how I get my nails to last up to three weeks. I take step two, which is the primer, and I paint inside of the nail with that. And then on top of that, I'll apply step three, which is the Builder Gel. And the Builder Gel helps adhere, well, helps the nail adhere to your natural nail. So it helps adhere the gel nail to your natural nail. And as you can see, that is what I'm going to apply here next. And then once we get that in there, we're going to stick our one finger into the Kiara Sky a UV lamp and we're gonna cure it for 60 seconds. Make sure that you have the UV lamp um, on before you actually put your nails on, which you guys will see me do next. So I did forget to mention, when it comes to applying the Builder Gel, it'll take a while for you to get used to or to know how much Builder Gel you're supposed to be applying into the nail. Sometimes I still get leakage now, which means that I put way too much Builder Gel, but here are my nails. They are all done, finally. Left and right hand, and I have not buffed them yet, but we'll be doing that next. So when it comes to me buffing and fouling my nails, I do start off by just taking off there's like a little tip on the jellies, um, the Kiara Sky jelly tips. So what I do is I start by just fouling that little tip off of my nails and then I'll go in and buff them. I didn't really need to file the size of these nails because the shape was just perfect. All right, so here are my nails all buffed and ready to go for some gel polish. So I'm gonna be using the Melody Suzy gel polish. These were actually sent to me. I'm gonna uh, go with one glitter nail and then the rest of them will be a plain color. Um, I did put one coat here and I did end up doing about three more. And when it comes to me uh, cleaning my cuticles, I take a brush with some acetone on it. I paint my nails, take the brush and wipe around my cuticles just so we won't have any polish on our cuticles. No, clean cuticles, we're not trying to paint our fingers, we're trying to paint our nails. So yeah, I go ahead and I wipe around my nails before I place my nail into the UV lamp. When I'm painting my nails, I do one coat, put it into the UV lamp, let that dry, and then I do another coat, put it into the UV lamp, let that dry, so on and so forth.
to get my gel polish as neat as I can. I take my time because, hey, we're not on anybody else's time. We are at home. So here are my finished nails, guys. Again, the short almond. Of course, they do have other uh, lengths. They have other shapes. And yeah, I just really enjoy sharing this with you guys. And I am in love with my nails. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.